Next, let's queer up the U.S. view. Support for equal, equal marriage drops in U.S. for first time since 2014. A new study by the Public Religion Research Institute, Peter RRI, reveals a notable shift in public sentiments towards LGBTQ plus rights in the United States. The PRRI's American Values Atlas, launched in late 2014, surveyed over 22,000 adults across all 50 states. The research indicated a decline in support for LGBTQ plus equality across three key areas, non-discrimination protections, same-sex marriage, and religious-based service refusals. Overall, support for protecting LGBTQ plus individuals from discrimination dropped from 80% in 2022 to 76 in 2023. While attitudes among Democrats were steady across all three measures, Republican oppositions to LGBTQ plus rights increased. In 2023, opposition to religious-based service refuals decreased from 65% to 60% among Republicans. It has hit its lowest ever, 34% since 2015. Support for same-sex marriage slightly declined from 69% to 67%. Interestingly, the study found a negative correlation between support for Christian nationalism and LGBTQ plus rights across all states. Melissa Deckman, PRI's chief executive, noted that despite the visible dip, the ma majority of Americans still endorse anti-discrimination protections and support the rights of same-sex couples. If this is true, will the Americans reflect the same in their voting choices for the upcoming presidential election? Or should the LGBTQ plus community take these statistics at face value and prepare for the worst? Will the Americans reflect the same in their voting choices for the upcoming presidential election? Or should the LGBTQ plus community take these statistics at face value and prepare for the worst? As much math was in there and a lot of numbers and statistics drive me crazy, I do think it's like very important to pay attention to the statistics and sometimes like i know i don't find them as much or but it's like super super important especially with like elections coming around these statistics and these researches they matter and yeah. i think that last question kind of like do we as the lgbt plus community kind of like face and prepare for the worst what do y'all think or do we should we have hope in america for i once? mean thank you so much for reading the story and reading all those stats i'm so glad that yeah. i didn't have to, right that was a lot going on now if you see the beginning of this this is 2014 where they started grabbing this data and if you like think back to 2014 soon after was when trump started running when trump was elected and all of that and all that lgbtq plus hate rhetoric is listened to. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. That's why bullying is up and er and, and on er in every market in the U.S. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's sad that for many people they feel the need that they have to pick religion, or... support religion, or support LGBTQ plus. It's not so, two separate things. No. A lot of us in LGBTQ plus are very or have deep faith and are and are really guided by religion and unfortunately yeah. some people out there feel that they have to pick between the two we're in a gay church right now hello <laughs> first of all but this is this is one of the things that the republicans are so good at mm -hmm. is, is is creating the narrative yeah they're mm -hmm. so good at it and they're succeeding at it and they keep doing it and it's working for them it's mm -hmm. now you know it started us let's protect our children so you know, who doesn't want to protect our children? Right. That's how they started. No to that. Who's going to say no, no to that? No, don't or protect our children. Well, and Dino is ex ex exactly right, because right, so. I think the, the way that the question is even asked of these people is a huge presumption, and that's that you should have the right to pass judgment or approve or disapprove of other people. This survey has been going on since 2014, yet nobody has ever asked me in a survey if I approve of heterosexual. Okay. <laughs> right. Because the answer would be no. Coming together. So I appreciate the, the insight from it, but I really think that they should just be asking people how bigoted they are in their behavior and give them different categories. Let's flip yeah. the question around. How racist some, are you? Yes, yeah. on a scale of one <laughs> to ten. How are you? How we're asking how racist are you? I'm kidding. No, <laughs> oh, no that was to me. No, no, but, but you know what? You know what's sad is that we're not far from that. I don't yeah. feel like we're far, we're far, we're, we're farther from getting actual statistics on LGBTQ plus people than we are asking Actually, the people who are hateful yeah. how much do you hate you know they'd probably be that probably be a, you know they'll probably get that data beforehand you know and that's what's that and who opened the door to that 
Trump. Trump. He was the one who made it okay for people to be racist outside of their homes. People used right? to be embarrassed when they yeah. were anti-gay. Be like, yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention. Oh my, oh my god, or like, or like, you know, my my yeah. family member and now it's is a badge racist. Of honor. Oh my god, let's not bring him because he's, you know, now it's not even hidden. No. But 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 there is something about the the media responsibility. I know we're part of the media and we're bringing it out here to discuss it, and this is our responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the media is kind of like amused by people like Donald Trump and his racism and his, you know, outrageous comments. Same as Ron DeSantis. Yeah. It's happening all the time and they, they know it yeah. and somehow they want to keep it up there because he sells. People are watching. Even CNN and even MSNBC and all the, the, the you know, the, the liberal media that we support. But they, 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 we keep lowering the bar. We're yeah. not, we're not uh, outraged. It's like, oh my God, but you know, it's Donald Trump. But that's how he is, yeah. you know, and he's colorful. And let's put it up there. Yeah. We keep perpetuating yeah, but, that narrative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I watched the, right, I watched normal news or whatever you want to call it the other day. And there was three stories about Trump, three individual stories about him. He did this here. He did it there. He's about to do this here. Yeah. You know, we were talking about the Oscars off camera. I was upset that Jimmy Kimmel gave Trump that time on the biggest stage in the world, the Oscars, and read Trump's tweet about him. You know, because again, you're putting more putting spotlight right on this damn yeah. Cheeto man. No. You know, like his ego isn't big enough. And that's where that rhetoric all started. I don't want to blame it all on Trump. Of course, it's not only his fault, but he opened the door. Yeah. And they're lucky, like, can you imagine if like the community, like, I feel like we're very tame. Like we're, we're trying to, I don't feel like we're forcing anything down anywhere or trying to be like rebellious in any way. But like back in the day, like the Marshas and all of them, like, could you imagine if we were rowdy like them and every time something happened, we just stormed the Capitol or storm. We can't. Well, I don't want to get shot a riot, but like I do feel like we are being very nice. And like, I don't I think we're very nice. We're very accepting of everything else. And we just want to be embraced and accepted. We we move very like, you know, but maybe we got to hype but, it up a little okay, bit. Okay, and like, that's a, that was my question gotta, to you. Like. It's an election year, Christopher. Yeah. Have we been nice for too long? This ain't the year yeah. to be nice anymore. Yeah. I think we've got to stop with the nice bullshit. We've been complicit for when far they go low, too when long. When they go low, we go high. No, I'm sorry. When I'm they go low, we go to hell. That's what we're dealing with. Them. Like, we're dealing like, being like in the Obama, like the energy, even if I didn't feel like he was the gay friendliest person, the energy in the air didn't make mm -hmm. me feel like I needed to be rebellious or stand up for myself because I felt like it was kind of like a looking at everyone. But with like, I do think we might have to stand up to Trump. Like we might have to put our foot down and really say like, you know, you can't keep coming for us and we're not laughing at you. Like we're laughing, we're not laughing at it or with you at all. Yeah. Cause it's not a joke, no. bitch. No, no, and it's not gay marriage. It's just marriage. Right. Period. That's it. Right. That's this literally. isn't it's a gay like ring. Gay religion. <laughs> this is a ring. Religion. It's just a good old wedding ring. Oh, you married too? Try to take my man. Hello. You? Come fuck with it. Take my Girl, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. Put your goddamn hand down. Give me your earrings so I can pick them up. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> God, body, what's next? Y'all got some empty fingers in this room. <laughs>